recently, uh, there are some great new opportunities uh, that we're looking forward to. Uh, one is the Harvard Olson opportunity. The, uh, this is the Enterprise Research Campus, which is going to be built uh, right next to the business school, and as well as the Harvard Innovation Lab, where we work. Uh, this blank plot of land here is roughly 15 acres, and Harvard is looking to see how do they uh, attract the right types of businesses to support uh, the community, but also how should they differentiate themselves from other innovation districts in Boston, uh, such as Kendall Square. Uh, right now, there's a big push in biotechnologies and pharmaceuticals. Uh, so the big question is, should, uh, should Harvard continue down that path and continue to support those industries because they are great tenants? Uh, Kendall Square has one of the lowest uh, vacancy rates at only 2%, which is unheard of um, in the real estate market. So should they continue down that path or should they also uh, diversify the types of industries that they bring? Also, there are several challenges to some of these districts. Uh, Kendall Square, while it is uh, uh, really impressive in the types of industries that they've been able to support, from an urban design perspective, it's actually a rather uncomfortable place to be. Uh, there are lots of concrete walls. There's very few uh, amenities, uh, shops, or restaurants that you can enjoy. And often when conferences are finished, they, they uh, suggest that people leave Kendall Square to go get a drink uh, elsewhere. So one thing that Harvard is considering is, uh, you know, how are they going to interface with this community? Uh, what type of environment are they going to create? How do they measure all these things? Uh, our hope is that with the Atlas, we can take the lessons learned from the most successful and then apply and help shape this community by understanding what has worked in the past, but also what has failed.